Do you know what else we... is a hint different? <laughs> is it? Is it the next article? <laughs> is the next article, dude? Okay. The next article. All right, so we got another one from the gamer Lu Hai Liang. Liang. All I know is I probably pronounced Lu Hai correctly, though. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, let's go. So this article is called "The Xbox Series S Can Apparently Run Out of VRAM." Once again, the less powerful Xbox Series S is extracting the wrong sort of attention. You and I talked about this maybe like last year about how indie devs have been running away from the Series S. Yeah. And we never had a clear reason why. They were just like, it's hardware issues. Well, yeah. here's a little bit more background on what actual problems are there. <laughs> so Microsoft decided to do something very different for this generation. It decided to launch two consoles at once, one that took the crown for the most powerful machine and one that was smaller, cheaper, and less powerful. The idea was to appeal to the hardcore gamers with the Xbox Series X and sweep up the more price-sensitive with the other. It seemed to pay off, especially as pandemic lockdowns led to component shortages and unprecedented demand for consoles. The Xbox Series S was in greater supply, and Microsoft won uh, pl plaudits? Plaudits? Yeah, Applauds? I don't have no idea. Plaudits? I don't know. Okay, how about we do this? One praise from industry analysts as it sold the S and Game Pass into homes around the world. But as this, ge as this generation has rumbled on, there has been persistent chatter among owners. First seemingly just a background slides by tribal gamers, but now becoming more vocal that the Xbox Series S might have some issues. Oof. Yeah, we're not too surprised by that. We've actually talked about how some of these games just can't run. Like, the indie games are having difficulty and all this other stuff. So let's get into it. So over on the popular gaming subreddit, one recent post about the Xbox Series S has attracted major interest, and in quotes, apparently the, the Series S can run out of VRAM, it's titled, and illustrated the point with a photo of a TV with an Xbox error message, and the message was, out of video memory trying to allocate a rendering resource. Make sure your video card has the minimum required, required memory, try lowering the resolution and or closing other applications that are running, exiting. Over a frozen image of Borderlands 3. <laughs> Whoa, that's nuts. <laughs> oh, dude, that's just funny reading that when it's coming from a console. That's so good. It's a true computer now. That's something you would only see on like PCs. Yeah, now it's man. like, this just happens on console now. <laughs> Try low the resolution. Oh, man. That's oh, funny. Geez. All right, so the article basically goes in to give context about what a VRAM is. So video, VRAM stands for video RAM. It refers to any type of random access memory used to store image data for a video display, and a specific purpose is to ensure the smooth execution of graphics display. Looking at the specs of the Xbox Series S, it has 10 gigabytes of VRAM, of which 8 gigabytes are dedicated to games, with the remaining allocated to the uh, operating system. In contrast, the beefier... Xbox Series X has 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm sure the operating system only really needs, what, two gigabytes? Yeah, if that. Yeah, that is kind of significantly more. Four gigabytes more is kind of nutty for VRAM. Um, so this seems significant, but it is important to remember that the Xbox Series S was always built to run games at 1440p at maximum while the xbox series x targets 4k meanwhile the memory issue related to the series s is something microsoft has known about as the article from 2022 from the verge of tests uh, with the company attending additional memory to developers in order to ease the issue extending additional memory so i'm not too surprised by this but i am kind of surprised by this if that makes sense yeah it's like Dude, how do you handle that? Because to me, some people don't even know this, man. Like, most of the time, you can't even see your Xbox Series X and S at 4K or 1440p because you need like a 2.1 HDMI port on your TV to make it actually work or monitor if you got one of those. But we need to, side note, we got to get rid of HDMIs for consoles and go straight to display ports at this point. That's what I'm saying, honestly. But, um, but anyways, dude. Um, uh, then, then again, Mike, we talk about the HDMI standard is insane now. Do we use it, it on like gaming yet. PCs? It has either not. Not really, but you know, 
No. Uh, HDMI 2.1 is kind of crack. Just saying, HDMI is catching up. They were like 10 years behind, but they're on it, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I so, don't agree. But yeah. So yeah, the, uh, the Xbox Series S doesn't have enough VRAM, basically, is the main issue. I thought it was going to be more along the lines of like computing hardware like yeah. with the amd cpus that it has um maybe they just cheapened out i didn't know it was like actual the vram and yeah i mean <laughs> I love it. it's like so th- there's like a quote to um about the VRAM about issue the on, on, on borderlands 3 it says this happens on borderlands 3 all the time that or just straight up freeze that or a straight up just freeze crash uh, for some reason, it runs well on the Series S until it doesn't. <laughs> Several <laughs> crashes per lengthy game session. <laughs> on Series X, though, it's fine. He's like, he's like, runs fine on the Series X, but yeah, they just didn't optimize it apparently on the Series S. So, <laughs> that's uh, really funny. Um, and that's you know, that's tough. that probably goes back to our point of like, you know, they uh, the Gearbox could be in that wheelhouse of like, you know, they were making the game and they're like, dude, why do we have to develop this for a weaker console? So they just gave yeah. up, you know, halfway through. And they're like, whatever. They get what they get. I mean, you to know. your point, you basically got to launch it with crappier graphics, but then I'm sure Microsoft is like, no, you can't do that. It's yeah. like, dude, you literally don't have the hardware. <laughs> so. I mean, I, you know, I think this is, I mean, this is kind of the right, why they're, I think this is a good reason as to why, like, console generations should probably just stick to one tier. Like, I get the appeal of trying yeah. to make something, like, cheaper for a wider audience. But, like, in the end, like it's it's probably just an additional barrier for developers. It probably slows down the you know velocity that they can actually put games out, so it may hurt overall. Um, so I mean that ultimately comes back to to the decision of like, okay, do we push like do we actually like push back the limitations of our game for like you know cheap hardware? If Xbox was to say, let's just release like a three four hundred dollar console may not be the most powerful thing but you know it's it'll at least give developers one thing to focus on um so they can make the best product for that hardware uh, it's it's a weird balance right i think uh there's certainly appeal to having a weaker weaker console but it seems like um devs just like are not caring about like the second option at this point well uh, there there is something that like we can totally roast xbox for though is why are they making it so like the GPU and CPU are different when they charge astronomical prices for expansion storage? You notice that? It's, true, it's yeah. like, like why? And it's like proprietary. It's it has proprietary. to be Microsoft brand, like Seagate. Yeah. Like, and they lower. So the we charge more. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny. After backlash, they're like, all right, fine, we'll lower the price. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. What well, it came out? What was it like? Another one hundred and fifty dollars or something? Yeah, two it's terabytes? like two hundred something. I think it was a lot, dude. Two hundred something. Now it's under mind? like two hundred at this point. But yeah, dude, it was a lot for their proprietary like storage upgrades. Yeah, and they were just like, it's M.2 drive NVMA. Like, okay, well, you can. <laughs> you suck this nvma like <laughs> like come on man that's too much money for freaking storage on a console that's what i'm saying but like you go to pc i mean for like 80 bucks i'm pretty sure i got an m.2 Bless. and it's like two terabytes for, like yeah it, it's, it's crazy. cracked it's like super it's good insane I bet. dude yeah for real yeah but that's a that's a that's one of those things where you're like phil spencer says he doesn't care about selling consoles anymore it's like but you care about selling storage, apparently. Like, <laughs> well, it, it discourages people to buy consoles too. I think you have like these oh, yeah. astronomical storage prices, right? It's like just get a PC. Yeah. But then again, the PC yeah. ports are bad. Which, in turn, if it keeps being bad, it's like gonna yeah, maybe I should just go console. Like, it's a it's an uphill battle. This is why we just got to go back to the basics. Let's do retro. That's why we go back <laughs> to where it's good, where we know it works. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I just stop playing games that don't work anymore. That's yeah. just how I am. How um, it is a shame, though, with this Borderlands 3 being an issue. That shouldn't be that demanding of a game from such a well-established publisher. It's so, true, yeah. yeah. Borderlands uh, is a good series. It is. It is. They know how to make games. Yeah. So. Yeah. 